Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. So Bree, we're going to go to some really cool places. It's stuff that you don't typically see in the Bahamas. Cliffs, cool. giant blue holes. And the great part about it is we don't have to run very far. We'll be running across 20 miles of flats where the water's wow. only this deep and it's sand bottom and you'll see conch shells and you'll see starfish and sharks and rays and schools of bonefish. So cool. it's, it's really gonna be neat, but I have a really special treat for you and for everybody that's watching a cool, cool place. I'm so excited to be here because this is really where it all started for you. I mean, this house was, was your grandfather's, the boat down there was your grandfather's, and he pretty much showed you everything. That's exactly what happened here is my grandfather. I was just very lucky to be born into this, and he showed everything to me. He was a great enthusiast of the outdoors. He liked to snorkel and scuba and Fish. all kinds of cool stuff, so. I think we need to go. We got a really cool places to go look at today. All right, well, they say everything's better in the Bahamas, so let's, let's go. go. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. That's what Florida wow. is famous for. So Bree, I'm really excited that you're here. And more importantly, let me tell you how we're gonna be fishing. You know how we fished the first time we ever fished together, we were fishing with a jig head and a yep. shrimp. Yep. But we're gonna do the same thing here, except we don't have live shrimp. So we're gonna be using plastic shrimps and we're gonna be fishing all the pinch points. And what that is, is all the places where the current goes between two islands on the outgoing tide, mm -hmm. the snappers, mutton snappers, yellowtail snappers, mangrove snappers, mm -hmm. Probably even a grouper or margay we might be able to catch while we're in there. So it's going to be really a fun day. Let's get I'm going. excited. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Just let him pull. Let him pull. Keep you your rod tight, tip out. Tighten the drag on it? No, 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 no. You sure? Yeah, man. 10 pound suffix. Right. What? What? A bone? I thought it was a bonefish at first. That it's a blue been... runner. Well, that's great. Love bro blue runners. That Bree would be the greatest Wahoo bait you take if you wanted to go offshore fishing. Yeah, let's go. It's a little <laughs> blowing a little hard for uh, a flats Wahoo? boat. <laughs> for a flats boat. It's okay, I like a challenge. Yeah, you'd be it'd be a challenge, alright? You'd be wet. Got something. No, I don't. Look at the bonefish in front of the boat, Bree. Big school of bonefish. Let's catch one. Let's catch one. Oh. Look at all these jacks. <coughs> Look at those bonefish right there. Look, that big golden mass of fish right Seriously? here is all bonefish. That's all bonefish right there. See them all? Got him, Bree? Yeah. I think. Oh, oh, Mother lover. <coughs> there they all are down there on the bottom. Calm down. You just calm your lips. There you go, good. Somebody breathe. Oh, he's pulling hard. Rick, make some noise. He's pulling hard. What you get? I don't know what this is. Another jack. Big jack. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Fun on this 10 pound test, isn't it? Smell him sniffing it there, Bree. A trigger. I don't think this is a trigger. This is a 
little mutton snapper. Woo! Rocky's gonna love me now. Look how red he's turning as we keep him out of the water. He just is fire engine red. Eye gets real red. Look at that, so beautiful. Only problem with him is he's not eight or 10 pounds. All right. But he's good enough to put in the frying hole. And over here, it's subsistence fishing. Subsistence. Yeah, man. We got lots of people depending on fish. Catch them. Eat them. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Catch the latest at rapala.com. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. There's no stopping Okuma. VMC, your expert in hooks. Williamson Lures, for the Pelagic Playground. Ameritrail, building trailers for over 30 years. Soft Science, Supreme Comfort Footwear. And Startron, cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. At Yamaha, reliability is a family tradition. Meet the next generation. Four new advanced technology-inspired inline four-cylinder performers. Bred from the reliability and boater satisfaction that is part of Yamaha's DNA, they prove that when power gets lighter, faster, stronger, and smarter, boating gets even better and more satisfying for boaters like you. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. We've made our name helping anglers unlock the water's hidden secrets. Hit the switch. It's time to reveal even more. Auto Chart Live gives you the power to build your own high definition maps anywhere in the world in real time. Because when you know the unknown, you can do the unheard of. Auto Chart Live. Only from Humminbird. It's one of the most ancient forms of hide and seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the latest happenings, contests, and appearances by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter and Instagram. You never have to miss a show. And you can also find episodes of Sportsman's Adventures plus other techniques and tips on our YouTube channel. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show and you'd like to know more information on, you can find links to our sponsors by heading over to sportsmansadventures.com. Chances are you spent a lot of time in the outdoors when you were growing up. Hours spent fishing, hunting, camping, hiking, or simply playing in the outdoors help you get connected with nature. Sadly, today's children are disconnected from nature. They spend nearly eight hours a day on computers or watching TV while the numbers of kids hunting and fishing continues to decline. 
That's why the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, together with the Wildlife Foundation of Florida, created the FYCCN, the Florida Youth Conservation Center Networks, to encourage like kids that. to participate in the outdoors. A statewide network of conservation centers, the FYCCN features wild outdoor centers offering deep wood experiences that connect to near outdoor sites in the community where kids live. If you want to help, you can learn more about the great outdoors and become stewards of our precious outdoor heritage. You can help by creating the next generation that cares. Go to FYCCN.org to learn more. Fish on! What is it? Right. <laughs> Keep it tight. What you got, Bree? Looking like a mutton snapper. Woo! Yep. Can there we keep you it? Go. Yeah, man. Subsistence. Look. Look at that. No, I'm telling you, my little guy. The caretaker that we have at the house there. Yeah. Stop. Rocky. He's been working for my grandparents for as long as I can remember. He will eat that. Fry it whole, scale it, take all the scales off, and it'll be every Super part good. of that fish he'll eat. Got it? Yeah, man. Three, two, kinda. Real, real. Big yellowtail. Nice. Whoa. What are you say about that? Yellowtails, man, they bite it, and they spit it out, and bite it, and spit it out. You gotta drop it when you're jigging. You'll eat it on the drop. Now I got him. Yeah, beautiful stripe. God, it's just like, no matter how many I catch, I just love how yellow they get. You got him, Bree? What's up? You got him? So Bree, let me ask you something. You are the reigning Miss Florida. I am? Yes. <laughs> what does that mean to you? Well, I think that whatever state that you're representing, you should be, you should immerse yourself in whatever that state has to offer. Yeah. And Florida, obviously, has so much to offer. And I mean, I've grown a love for fishing and the ocean, and I've always had you know, love for the ocean with surfing and all that. So it, it, it really means a lot to me to be able to represent the beauties that our, our state has, so. You know what else means a lot to me? This that fish. you're here in the Bahamas catching big mangoes. Napa's like this! Napa's! He's so excited! Oh, I love this Napa. Why do you ask me such a serious question? Such a great moment. It is a great moment. I wanted to scream with you. Scream with me! Woo! Look at that Snapple. Dang! Dang! We're gonna eat so good tonight. <laughs> what do you? How about? What do you want to have with this? We can have conch salad. Conch we can salad. Have, how is that? We can have. Anything you want to give me? It's not like I'm Miss Florida. I don't. I mean, oh. I don't need to watch what I'm eating or anything. So it's black beans and rice and yeah. Some bread pudding for dessert. And you see that? Oh my gosh. That's why they call him a sna snapper. Look at him biting down on that. I think I'm gonna get my pliers. Yeah. You won't be able to cook for us later if you don't have fingers. Nope. <laughs> oh, see why they call him a snapper? Let me show you. Don't, I don't want any belly don't even joke. piercings. Thank you very much. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Swift, Silent, Secure, Contender Boats, Performance Through Innovation, FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Cletus Cubs, Taiwan On, Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. The American Fishing Tackle Company, precision tackle and performance clothing since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. And Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. You know there's more to it than luck.
There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Shallow wrap shad's a jerk bait with a secret move. When you pause, the lure slowly rises. I tell you, man, it makes fish come unglued. Introducing Helmmaster, Yamaha's first fully integrated digital boat control system. With Helmmaster, you can start your outboards with a swipe of a paw and control them with a single lever. Outboard trim and steering friction adjust automatically as you accelerate and decelerate. Adjust engine speed with the touch of a button. The Helmmaster joystick provides the means to navigate and dock precisely with confidence and ease. Take control of your next vessel with Helmmaster at your command. As close as you're going to get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Casa Vieja Lodge. They're here, man. This has been a 20-year run, buddy. These things haven't left. There's no cycle. See, when it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. The amount of sailfish here is ridiculous. Today's Costa Cool Place and Moment is about the blue holes. There's blue holes throughout all of the Bahamas, and I've been around them in Andros, as well as a Chubkey has one. This particular one is in the northern part of the Berry Islands. The thing that makes it so neat is that they are tidally influenced. So you can come here from time to time, and the water will be higher, or it actually will be even lower depending on the tide. Most of these holes that I know of, and certainly I'm not a diver, but they are anywhere from 80 to, in some cases, I've had people tell me over 180 feet deep, like the one that's off of South Andros. Really, what I like about them is that it's a great place to have a picnic. This particular one is in the middle of an island, and not a lot of people really know about it, and that's what makes it today's coast a cool place and moment, is that it's a hidden treasure. Ah! That's it. That's what we're looking for. That's it. Just, that's it. Just keep the rod just like that. You're doing great. That's it. That's it. Wine, wine, wine. Coming at you. Good. Very good. Very good. Woo! Nice. Well, it is, but it feels good. That's the man we've been waiting on. I think the big mutton. Yeah? I think so. He's acting like a big mutton. Or maybe it's a big grouper. Or maybe it's a big yellowtail. Come I on. think it's a big mutton. I... You think I'm right? I think you... I think we need to try to get him over on this side if we can. That's it. You're good. Just hold that right there. Doing great, Bree. Doing good. Mm-hmm. That's it, keep it tight. Find out. Tight and right, tight and right. That's it, that's it. Doing good. Woo. Oh, that's him, Bree. Is it him? That's him. Woo. That is him. Yeah! That's what we've been waiting for. That's hey him. That's him. Woo. Yes, the big mutton snapper. Yay! 
Look! Yes! Hey! Miss Florida in the house! Look! Now we can be friends! Because we have dinner! I know! Rick, ah. we have great fishing in Florida, obviously, but why do you like fishing in the Bahamas so much? I mean, this is great. Well, you know, Bree, my family goes all the way back into the 60s. My grandfather first came over to Chubb Key in 1958 and wow. then uh, built his first, started building his first house, which is the house I grew up in in the 60s. Which is beautiful, by the way. And uh, it just, uh, and then the new house, or the house that you're staying in, mm -hmm. he, uh, my p grandma passed away in 70, and he found a, another lady who is just a wonderful person. And um, she fell in love with the place just as much as he did. And so what was cool is he built the new house in 1975, and all he had to do in the mornings while he's eating his breakfast, if he wanted to relive his first half of his life, he could look over his shoulder. That was pretty cool. That is cool. And that's where I grew up over in that house until I had to go to school. And then, but I'd say the reason why I like the Bahamas so much is it was, I never had a choice. I was just born out in the outdoors with him exposing me to everything, diving and snorkeling and hand lining. How many people you know that are in the Not States that many. know how to fish <laughs> with a hand line like the Bahamians yeah. or like the Cubans, you know? And so cool. it's a, that's an art in itself, and it's kind of cool. But uh, well, I think the here. real reason I like, you know, it is because I certainly love the way these things taste. Not so much about what they do, but yeah. how they taste. Good really job. Serious. Thanks. Oh, that was that was a good high five. It's got it's got fish poo on it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, down there, Azim. The big Margate. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's one. Oh, never mind. We kept the other one. <laughs> I'm like, that's the one we caught earlier. Yep. Ah! There you go. Double header. And you want to know why I like to fish here? Next to the Florida Keys, this is about as good as it gets. You I'd know, say, Bree? I'd say so. I like it. It's all right. They don't quite have the restaurants here on Chubb Key as they do in the Florida Keys. Did he get you in the rock? Oh, he came out. He Good. came out, he came out. <coughs> yeah, they don't have the restaurants, but there's enough fish to make dinner at home. You don't need a restaurant. A mutton snapper. With a side of seaweed. <laughs> Pull me in. Oy. Oh, hanging by a thread. Yeah, that's what I like about those BMC jigs. Hey, go catch them whether you want to put them in the mouth or not. Woo. Wow, pretty job, Bree, pretty work. Thanks. That's a nice Thanks, snapper. Guys. Oh, I'm in the wrong end to be looking. Doesn't matter where you catch them. Catch another one. Oh. Oh, oh. Rick, I got one too. You do? Yeah. What do you got? I got a mangrove snapper. A nice one at that. Woo! Yes. Mangrove oh snapper. Nice. You got one too? Oh, you got a bin. I, I've got, got a bin. Double header. You know. Maybe you got the mutton. Maybe. Definitely. Double play on snappers. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We'll get this guy off. Come on. Let's go. I'll come back there and help you, Bree. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. This is fun fishing with these light tackle rods, isn't it, Bree? When you hook these fish, they take off screaming. Uh, it's a seven foot spinner. <coughs> it's made by Akuma. 
called the Shadow Stalker Series with an Inspira 40 Series reel. I see it. You see it? I see color down there too. It looks like this is what we are here after. Ooh. It's much a mutton. There he is. There him is. There him <laughs> is. Oh, I love to catch the mutton snapper Bree. I know you Turns do. me into a different human being. I'm always happy. The mutton for the Murf man. We're going to be good tonight. Look at how they just turned so red. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty when they hold that up to the sun and they lights up. Wow. All that red on his fins. Man. About as cool as it gets. Other than a little bit of seasoning. So <laughs> some bread crumbs. I believe. I believe. I'm giving him a one-way ticket to the Chub Key. <laughs> Catching fish is a way of life in the Bahamas, but it's not just the legendary fishing, it's also the untouched paradise that draws anglers and land lovers alike. Thanks Bahamas for another great Sportsman's Adventures. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. For years, you've been hearing me say, to catch a big fish, you got to use big baits. So, in order to see that, you got to come back next week.